Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to our second part of our Macedonia 2010 World Cup qualifying. And just to remind you guys that this is our situation. We are basically uh, three points behind France, but with a game in hand. We need to win and keep up with them and also beat them in the next coming fixtures. Our next game will be against Kazakhstan. Before we start, legendary, you already know. But yeah, I'd just like to remind you, because best way to play and all that sort of stuff. So we're against Kazakhstan, who are rooted at the bottom of the group with one point. I hope this isn't our bogey team and they somehow get a result out of us. They shouldn't do. I feel like Kazakhstan might be the team that we might fail against. I don't know why I feel like that. It's just that it's always the unexpected, isn't it? Over the top. Can we get there? Pandev. Good goal. Great take. Great assist and Pandev adds to his collection. That's 1-0 over Kazakhstan in 12 minutes. Very impressive ball over the top. We're just too strong for that defender and we tap it in. Through ball. Pandev is going to go through here. Can he score the second? No, I hate that kind of shot when they like kind of trip over and it just P-rolls towards the goalkeeper. I do worry for Macedonia. I do. Because... Yeah, okay, we're doing okay against the smaller teams, but we're still making a bit of a meal of it. We need to absolutely dominate these kind of teams, especially in this group, because this group is so tight. Half-time, 1-0. I'm kind of underestimating Kazakhstan a little bit. I know they're better than what their one-star rating kind of shows them to be. I've used them in the past. They're a fantastic one-star team, so... Yeah, I mean, 1-0 seems about fair. Through ball, that has to be, right? Pandev. Pandev. Okay, I don't know why he took so long. Into the box here. Pandev, he did get fouled in the act of shooting. That's going to be another penalty. That might be a red as well. Yep, straight red for Kirov in the green. It's Pandev. It's a goal. That's 2-0. And Macedonia should be on to a winner now. That should be a goal. Yeah, it is a goal. And that is free. Fair enough. Um, I'll take a 3-0 over Kazakhstan. Very good result. And um, yeah. Yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll take it. And that's going to be full time. That's a 3-0 over Kazakhstan. Routine victory. It should have never really been in much doubt. Here we are then. Second match of the video is against Slovakia. This is a big test. If we can overcome Slovakia, then there's only one more test, obviously, and that's France. Um, I can't see France dropping points from here on out because they've already played Slovakia twice already. So, um, yeah, it's all down to us. It really is. Pandev somehow skips past Skirtle like that. That's really impressive, but Skirtle is too strong for him. I knew it wouldn't last. Like these fouls, honestly, you brush past someone, it's like, yep, yeah, a free kick. It's been like that for the entirety of the run. Either the game's just playing up or um, the referees we've been given have been awful. And that was an awful ball by Macedonia. Don't do that again. Almost did it again straight away after I said it. Oh, great tackle. This guy is going through. Can he score? No, keep those shots down. I don't even put that much power in it. Ref, you've really got to clamp down on these slide tackles. Not just like telling them off and going, oh, don't worry about it, Slovakia. Actually go, hey, uh, yellow card? Because it's been happening for the entirety of qualification. The entirety of it. It really has been one of those matches already like one of those matches where you keep getting slid out and you know you don't really get anything for you referees against you by the seat looks of things it's just crazy how this game does this sometimes into the box this could be an opportunity and it hits the side netting that's very unlucky um but again yet again we don't take our chances 
And that is still nil-nil at half time. Pote, Pandev. Is there a chance? Saved by the keeper. I was hoping it would go all the way through. Oh, it's so frustrating. The fact that it's been so difficult to score against this Slovakian team. Pop off, crosses it in. It's headed. And off the post and in. Yes. Come on. It just literally, like, it was like time stopped on that header. Oh, the AI skipped it. How, how typical. But that was a beautiful header. Now we just need to get our minds back in the game. Skirtle's just so ridiculous on this game. He just shrugs you off at every chance he gets. He is a great defender, but damn, is he so annoying to deal with. That was weird. Come on. Oh, again, Skirtle. It's always Skirtle. Like, this is... Oh, wow, really? Keeper, you better get that. Oh, my God. I cannot believe what transpired in that thing there. I know it was offside because of the cutscene. Or, no, actually, no, it wasn't. It was just a bad miss. I can't believe that, though. Honestly, I can't believe that. I was waiting for the ball to bounce in the box... And it felt like the game set up that situation to screw me over. Don't you dare. Crossed in. Keeper, please. Uh, uh, offside again. How lucky have we been in this match. How lucky. Because that went in. And I thought for a minute that we would have been mudded. Oh. Shrugged off skirt. Oh. But we missed the chance to go 2-0 up. Like, stop. Stop. Hitting those shots. Really? Oh, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. We won. I'm very thankful that we won because we should have probably lost that game or drew. I can't believe we came away with a win. It was a hard-fought win. It felt like the game really wanted us to lose. It's time for the big match against France away from home. Realistically, we just need a draw because we're ahead of them by three points because we've already played our game in hand and everything. So, pin them back with a draw or a win, and then our last game will be against Kazakhstan, and we should be winning that game. Look at the standings. Like, you have to think. You have to think. Pin back France with a draw or a win. We'll be in the same position as we are now. They will be as well, and then beat Kazakhstan on the final day. I would be so happy if we got a draw against France. We battled hard against Slovakia. It felt like the game really wanted Slovakia to win that match. If we lose here, though, it's out of our hands. Great ball, but we're not going to get anything out of this, right? Crossed in? No, of course not. Like, I know what the game's trying to do. I know what he's trying to do. It's making it extra harder, especially here against France. We're in really good form. We should be in really good form. Out to Pandev. Out on the wing. He gets slide tackled again. The slide tackles have been absolutely unreal from the AI. They just know where I'm going. They know what I'm doing. It's crazy. Nemowski. Okay, well that was a decent shot. Could have had more bend on it perhaps. But it's okay. It tested Lloris anyway. Over the top to Thierry Henry. You better not control it with your hand. You fake basketball player. No. Oh my goodness. Off the post. That could have been the first goal for France. That was so lucky. And that is nil-nil at halftime. Fortunate to still be in this position? Possibly after that shot. But we need this. We've had a couple of attempts ourselves. But yeah, we just really, really need to edge this one out. Crossed in. Headed out. They got it. Please tackle him off the post again. Oh my goodness. If they scored that... We would have been in some trouble. Uh, we can't catch Thierry Henry up. But luckily that was a poor ball into the box. And there's a foul by Benzema. Not many highlights in this match. Apart from France hitting the post twice. Like France will dispossess you all the time. It is crazy how much pressure I'm under at the moment. Benzema tackled. Great challenge. Come on. Two minutes have added. We need this draw. Please. Don't you dare. Oh, Benzema got in behind. And he's still in behind. This is BS. Okay, that's a corner. If they score this corner, this will be unjust. Unjust as anything. It will be absolutely unjust. Please, clear it. Pandev. Yes, we did it. 
We did it. We pegged back France. And all we need to do now is win our last game against Kazakhstan. That's all we need to do. All we need to do. Macedonia looks super disappointed. I can understand why. Because obviously, um, you know, we were getting penned in. We were getting penned in in that game. Like, they would not let us out of our own half. I was under so much pressure in that game to try and squeeze a result out. And, again, it wasn't really the best games of football. It felt like France, again, just tried to pull off BS goals. But the game, thankfully, didn't let them go in. So, this is your almost final table. And Slovakia have ruined their chance of qualification uh, because they've already played their eight games and they only have 12 points. France will have to play Armenia, which they will win. A hundred percent, they will win. Um, we got Kazakhstan. We just need to win it. That's all. If, if we somehow lose, then at least goal difference is on our side because we only conceded one goal and scored 11, whereas France have only scored nine and conceded four. Here we go then. Final match against Kazakhstan in a very overcast day. What will Kazakhstan do here to try and spoil my party? I reckon they're going to do it. I know the game is out to spoil it because I'm in that position and it wants a dramatic finish. Every time I do qualification campaigns, there's always dramatic finishes. I just want to finish it. I don't want dramatic. I don't want drama in my life. Our form in this group has actually been surprisingly really good. 11 goals and only one conceded. Zero losses. And as France take the lead against Armenia... They will not be qualifying as it stands because obviously we're drawing and that means that we'll have one more point than them. Crossed in by Kazakhstan and Kazakhstan almost had the chance to go through. It feels like Macedonia are like statues right now in defence. They just don't really want to move. They think the job's done. It's not done. Macedonian free kick. Could this be a chance? Struck. Good save. And it still remains 0-0. I'm happy with it being 0-0. I don't even care if I draw 0-0 with Kazakhstan. I'll still go through. Over the top. Good ball. I can't believe you missed that, dude. I know it was on the volley, but come on. You've got to get that on target. Pandev into the box. And nobody really re reacted to it. It's just been a really poor showing. Pandev. Will he score this opportunity, perhaps? Off the bar again. Pandev's playing a crossbar challenge. He actually is. I don't know how one man can hit the bar so many times in one single run. Pandev to cross it in. And it's headed away. Been a really, really poor showing from Macedonia. Not the kind of result that you want going into a World Cup. Pandev. I don't un understand what happened there. He tackled me in the box. Didn't go down. And when I tried to do the finesse shot, it just glitched. <laughs> just to, it, I just really get this feeling that this match was supposed to be like my downfall match. But if it was any other opponent, it would have been a loss. But because it's Kazakhstan, there we go. We got the goal that we wanted and that's 1-0. At least we got a goal to close out this match. It was tough, but we did it. And France definitely cannot qualify now on this result. Definitely not. We have done so well in this group, despite my complaints and issues with Macedonia sometimes. At least Pandev has been the shining light in this uh, run. And there we go. Finally, we have qualified for the World Cup. Confirmed Macedonia are going to the 2010 World Cup. Kazakhstan did try their best to ruin it. Obviously, some French officials at UEFA probably bribed them or something to play better. Um, it just didn't feel like Macedonia were at their best in that match. But at the same time, I'm really happy they qualified anyway. Here we go then. We get to find out our group now. Let's draw the team. So obviously, you've got your usual suspects coming in. Some of the biggest teams. Come on, give me a good one. Serbia going to Group B. France. Wait, uh, wait, what? There was a playoff spot? I didn't think there was. Oh, I was wrong about that. But we go into Group E anyway. So we tried hard to get that first place spot only to realise there's a playoff spot. What an absolute idiot. Um, I just thought because the groups were uneven that Group I was the standout group. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just don't... Unless it's done by like... 
um, best second place team or something? Someone let me know in the comments. Just remind me again of how it works. But yeah, here we go. Senegal into Group B, USA in Group A as well. Here comes some of the slightly, I'd say average slash smaller teams. I, I mean, they're all good actually, to be fair. What am I saying? So Korea Republic go into Group D. Group E, Ivory Coast. Uh, that's not good for Macedonia. I really will not be looking forward to that. Okay, let's skip ahead. Australia, Iran, and Ghana go into those bottom groups. And we've got Ecuador going to Group A. In Group B, we'll have Costa Rica. In Group C, we'll have Gambia. Welcome to the World Cup, Gambia. Um, group D, North Korea. In Group E, we have Egypt. Okay, cool. So that's a very... Well, still a tough group. Very tough. Canada going to Group F. In Group G, we will have Iraq. And um, Honduras go into Group H. So um, there's really no super easy group. So anyway, guys, that was your second part of your Macedonia World Cup qualification run. Tune in next time for when Macedonia play the World Cup and see if they can get out the group stage or not. I really hope that you enjoyed this second part. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again for the next video.